If you or someone you know is interested in obtaining a TEFL or a TESOL certification, Guys With Games has become affiliate partners with ITTT and can offer you a 15% discount on any and all coursework through this well-respected institution. For more information, check out the links in the description or watch our video description here. Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games and this week we're going to learn my personal favorite game to play in an advanced or an older student class. This game I actually enjoy playing with my family or my friends, native speakers of English, but it can be used in an advanced class. It practices rhyming words and giving English definitions for words. So if those are skills that you want to practice in your classes, let's check out how to play this game. Usually when I'm explaining this for the first time, I'll draw something similar on the board to let my students understand how to play. But what I've done here is I've drawn a model class. This game would really work with only one student, but also any number of students you could play this with. You need a game master. So for the first time, it's gonna be the teacher. The teacher is gonna be the game master. And then you have all of these people who are going to be guessing and trying to find your answer. Uh, again, it's gonna be practicing rhyming words and giving English definitions for that word. But in class, I tell my students we're only going to play with one syllable words. So I might give them some practice or how to rhyme words, that's actually quite difficult to do in a, in a foreign language. And so we practice that for a little while, but at the end we can play this game. So I've just used a very simple one here, my target word. First, the teacher thinks of a target word, so cat. Okay, that's my target word. If anybody here says, gives me an English definition for cat, they win. Uh, and then I need to, before we, before I let them know anything, I need to think of a word that rhymes with cat. So I've chosen hat here. And then I'm going to tell them my English definition for the rhyming word. My word, my word rhymes with something that you wear on your head. Okay? And if they need to double check, do you mean headphones? No? It's a one syllable word, remember? Okay, hat, yes. If maybe they think it's cap. Well, I would tell, no, 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 it rhymes with hat. But technically, we're supposed to play without saying directly any of these words. So, okay, my word rhymes with this word, and they need to think of something that rhymes with this, because my word rhymes with this, and they're trying to guess this target word. So maybe this student thinks of this word, fat. Okay, he or she would need to say, is he, they can't say, is it fat? They can't do that. They need to think of a word that rhymes with what I told them, so, and he did, and then he needs to think of an English definition for that word. To guess this guess, you need to give an English definition. Is it the opposite of thin? Maybe that's what he says. And I will say, oh, it's my job to listen to his English definition and then tell him that it's not this of thin. Okay, that's his question. And if it were fat, then he would win. If my word was fat, then he would win. But no, it's not fat. Is it, uh, is it when something is far away and it's only one? Not this, but, and I was like, oh, okay. No, it's not that. Is it when a tire has no air inside? No, it's not flat, but that's a very good guess. Is it an animal that likes to fight with dogs? Yes, congratulations, my word was cat. You are the winner and you can come here to be the game master, basically switch spots. So quickly to review, the person will think of a target word, then the person will think of a word that rhymes with that target word, and then he or she will say an English definition for the rhyming word, and then the students, the guessers, will think of a word that rhymes with that. And then they will guess their English definitions. So let's play one time in the comments, okay? I will be the game master. I will think of a word, like I've got one, and I'll think of a word that rhymes with that. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the English definition for the rhyming word. This is the target that you need to get. And then in the comments, you'll think of something and you'll say it, the English definition for that. And we can play and I'll respond to each one who comments in the form of an English definition. So my word rhymes with, 
when you close one eye, the verb for closing one eye. My word rhymes with that word. So good luck. I hope you enjoy this game, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.